Hey friends, welcome back. I haven't said that in nine months. Yep, I haven't posted a video on my YouTube channel in nine months. It started out kind of unintentionally. It kind of started out as a break due to work stress and other life stressors. Then it kind of turned into a, oh crap, I haven't posted a video in so long. I can't just post anything. I have to do something cool. I know that's pretty ridiculous, but it kind of just happened. And honestly, I had a really nice 2019, so I figured I'd fill you in on what happened. I rang in the new year with my boyfriend Chance, my sister, and her husband, and we danced a whole lot. I went on a lot of work trips, mostly to Cincinnati and St. Louis and New York City. I hosted my fourth annual boozy Valentine's Day brunch. It's a bottomless mimosa brunch. It's always one of my favorite days of the year. I attended six weddings this year. It was a lot of weddings, but a lot of fun. One of my best friends from middle school got engaged and she asked me to be a bridesmaid in her wedding this coming September 2020. One of the biggest things that happened this year was I paid off my student loans in full four years after I got my degree. I was just so relieved. It was my main big goal for this year and I paid it off on my birthday. Also for my birthday in April, we celebrated by going to Brooklyn, New York. We live in Connecticut, so it's just a train ride away. We got an Airbnb and be for a few days and got to explore Brooklyn and eat tons of good food. It was so fun. While there, I got my fifth piercing. It is a upper lobe piercing. I wanted to get my cartilage, but apparently I'm not a good candidate for it. So I got this upper lobe piercing instead and I absolutely love it. I also discovered the joy of thrifting this year, including in Brooklyn. They have so many awesome thrift stores. And I would say about 90% of my clothing purchases this year were secondhand. I spent Easter weekend with my cousins. We went to this awesome dive bar that had pickles and fresh squeezed orange juice with vodka. It was so delicious and I also won my first game of darts. I hosted a birthday party for Chance. I had a crazy bout of fungal acne that I eventually healed on my own, but I also went to see a dermatologist for the first time in about five years. PSA, go to a dermatologist, get your skin checked, it's very important. I saw Waitress the Musical, highly recommend. One of the absolute highlights of this year is I found out I am going to be a first time aunt. My sister told me she was pregnant in June, she's due in January in just a couple weeks. I visited my other sister and my brother-in-law in the Seattle area. We celebrated 4th of July there and I enjoyed a lot of good quality time with her dog. Another close friend of mine had her bachelorette party in West Palm Beach, Florida. And when I returned from that, we found out that my sister's baby is a little baby girl. I spent a lot of time this summer lounging in my parents' pool. I had multiple business trips to New York City and ate a lot of Van Lumen's ice cream. I also decided one day I wanted to change up my pixie a bit, so I had my hairstylist shave kind of an undercut on the side here. It's a little grown out right now, so you can't really tell, but when it's freshly cut, it looks really cool and I've been consistently doing it ever since. FYI, I sliced my finger open at my knuckle, which is why I'm wearing this. I'm sorry if it's distracting. My friend who had her bachelorette party in West Palm Beach, Florida, had her wedding in October in New York City, and I was a bridesmaid. For Halloween, Chance and I dressed up as the characters from White Men Can't Jump, and right before Thanksgiving, I hosted a baby shower for my sister. I celebrated Thanksgiving with family in Vermont, and finally, I celebrated Christmas in Massachusetts with my family. 2019 was an absolutely incredible year for both myself and my family, and I think 2020 is going to be even better. When I was creating my list of goals for 2020, because I do create goals, I don't really create resolutions, but I create a list of goals, I kept coming back to wanting to restart my YouTube channel. And the reason is because it's such a fun creative outlet for me. I love interacting with you all. I love making videos. I like editing. It's just a really fun side hobby for me. And the reason I didn't continue making them, I feel like, is also because I was getting tired of the beauty videos, specifically videos solely about my pixie haircut or solely about cruelty-free beauty. Not only do I want to stop buying things as much, um, which I definitely, definitely cut down on in 2019 when I was not making videos, but I also am just kind of tired about talking about my hair sometimes. I still love my pixie cut, but now it's just so much just a regular part of me and a regular part of my routine. There's only so many styling videos I can do because I pretty much use the same products every day and I style it in, style it in a very similar way every single day. So I didn't want to keep making those types of videos, so I just kind of stopped. But now I think I have uh, quite a few video ideas for 2020 to kind of pivot into videos that more reflect my lifestyle now. 
One of the big themes for my videos in 2020 is going to be focused around conscious consumption. It's something that I've been working towards for a year or two now, reducing my waste, buying fewer fast fashion, thrifting more, buying secondhand clothing, consuming less, being more intentional with my time and my money, and also as a result, saving money, budgeting, all those types of things are a lot more impactful in my life nowadays than beauty ever was. I still do love beauty products though, and you'll see in my next video a project pan that I'm starting in 2020. If you don't know what that is, just wait for that video. But I still love makeup and I still love hair, it's just not something that I want my channel to be a sole focus on. So if you're really disappointed to hear that I won't be making as many pixie or beauty videos, which I still will be making, just not nearly all of them. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but at the end of the day, this channel is a reflection of my life, and I, I would feel like a fraud if I came on here doing all these crazy pixie hairstyles, doing all this crazy makeup, because it's just really not what I'm passionate about. If you are interested in seeing what I'm passionate about, I would encourage you to either stay subscribed or subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. I hope you had an awesome 2019, and if it wasn't so awesome, 2020, as cheesy as it sounds, it really is a fresh start to work towards your goals, to work towards what you want and how to make the best life possible for you. So I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.